Back in 2019 and 2020, when the teasers for Security Breach were first coming out, I was so excited to see what they would do with Vanny, this character that was introduced in the DLC for FNAF VR. I was really excited about the idea of a new villain in the FNAF series. Back when she was introduced in FNAF VR, she was introduced as sort of a follower to Afton, which I thought was really interesting because she wasn't just working on her own. This wasn't just a completely new concept. This was building off of Afton's legacy in the past few games. In late 2021, after a little bit of delay, Security Breach finally dropped. And... What have they done to her? I don't think I have ever seen a worse character assassination. She has almost no relevance in the game, no relevance in the lore, and also them trying to pretend like Vanny and Vanessa wouldn't be the same person, and then they were revealed to be the same person. What was that? What was that? I genuinely thought their names being so similar would just be like a coincidence, like a red herring just to throw us off, and they would be revealed to be different people. No! Vanessa is Vanny, and it's terrible! She's terrible! So, you read the title of this video. I'm going to give rewriting and redesigning Vanny a shot, and you might already be able to tell, but I made Vanny and Vanessa two different people. So this isn't going to be about Vanessa. She's probably going to stay about the same, about as useless as she already is. Uh, I'm going to make Vanny a completely separate character. Not trying to spoil the video, so let's go ahead and get into the redesign. Like I said, I went in with the intention of making Vanny and Vanessa two different characters. I imagine that they're just both two girls named Vanessa, because I think Vanessa is a pretty common name. So they're just two people named Vanessa who just happen to be at the same place at the same time. So throughout this, when I say Vanessa, I'm referring to the blonde, the night guard. And when I say Vanny, I'm talking about either my character or the original Vanny. I knew I didn't want to keep the bunny suit as iconic as it is. I feel like just the mask is, I think that's enough. I think that's enough to set her apart from the normal human characters in this universe and also to still recognize that she's still under the control of Afton without her putting on a fur suit every time. So other than the mask, I just gave her normal clothes that are just a little bit dirty, like she hasn't been taking care of herself while she's been under the control of Afton, which I feel like, I feel like we should be allowed to make girls, characters a little, a little bit musty, a little bit, a little bit stinky. <laughs> I don't know. I kind of wanted to go for like, slasher vibes even though i don't watch slasher movies i don't know any slasher characters i don't know where i got this idea i just wanted her just to look like a normal teen killer i don't know if that makes any sense um anyways you'll see here that i also gave her a second outfit which is just a reworked version of the Pizzaplex uniform. I don't know if there's a canon Pizzaplex uniform. If there is, I didn't bother looking for it because I wanted to design my own. So I gave her one. I imagine she stole it, like she broke into the Pizzaplex and stole it from somebody else. But Vanny doesn't actually work at the Pizzaplex. Vanessa still is a night guard, but Vanny just broke in. She's just been there. As far as her lore and story goes, I want to keep everything that they started building on in Help Wanted that they completely removed in Security Breach. So she's a reluctant follower of Afton. She's not really sure if what she's doing is the right thing, but as he starts to possess her more, she starts to lose control of what she's doing, her actions, her emotions. She starts to lose patches of her memory whenever Afton takes over, things like that. She was a beta game tester for Help Wanted and that's how Afton, who was possessing a computer chip that they used to build the game, that's how he entered her mind, I guess. Before she became a game tester, she wasn't 
already like a murderous serial killer. She was just probably just a normal girl, maybe came from a troubled home life, didn't really know what she wanted to do, uh, was kind of lost until she found a gig as a beta game tester and ended up getting possessed by the spirit of a serial killer from the 80s, so. Afton's spirit probably leads Vanny to the Pizzaplex so that she can, I guess, take control of the animatronic so that he can have control over what was once his creations. I don't know. I don't remember the security breach lore. Does security breach have a story? I don't think so. Because the Pizzaplex is geared towards kids, I imagine that Afton wants Vanny to take control of the animatronics so that they can start killing kids again and he can start harvesting more remnant. I don't know. Here in the speed paint, you can see me coloring. I I really liked the idea that people came up with when Vanny first started being teased that she had rainbow hair. I'm not sure where that came from, but I really liked the idea of her having dyed hair, even if it's not necessarily rainbow. So I bleached the ends of her hair. Uh, she kind of messed up her toner a bit, I imagine. And then I made her clothes really dirty. She has not had access to a washing machine uh, in a good long while. She's she's kind of muddied up, covered in a little bit of blood. It's not her blood. Not sure whose blood it is, but yeah, you know, it's, it's there. It's on her clothes. I imagine she's in her early 20s, uh, probably just got kicked out of her parents' house and trying to figure out what she wanted to do with her life when, you know, Afton kind of threw a wrench in her plans, but I really like the ending of Security Breach where Vanessa and Gregory and Glamrock Freddy become sort of a found family. I That was really cute to me, and so now I'm... That, en that ending is the canon ending in my heart, but just replace Vanessa with Vanny. They become like a found family after Gregory and Glamrock Freddy uh, free Vanny from Afton and she becomes like a big sister to him. They're so special to me. Vanny wasn't exactly given any sort of discernible personality in either of her appearances in both Help Wanted and Security Breach. So I imagine that she's she's introverted, she's a little quiet, um, a little bit mean, maybe. She's not generally, like, evil or anything. She's got a good heart, she's just a little rude sometimes. Uh, I think she'd be good with technology, that's why she was interested in a position as a beta game tester. I think, and that would give her the knowledge to be able to mess with the animatronics, you know? She had a rough home life, nothing too interesting or anything, I haven't thought of anything really specific, but she moved out on her own when she was really young and now doesn't exactly know what she wants to do with her life. I've said that a few times now, I think. <laughs> I think that once she gets back on her feet and her and Gregory and I guess Glam Rock Freddy find a place to stay, she would pursue a career as maybe a video game developer or a computer programmer or something like that. I didn't draw it in this piece, but I think that after she's freed from Afton's control, uh, she'd cut her hair. I think she'd cut it to around shoulder length, a little bit shorter maybe, uh, because you know, sometimes people cut their hair as a sign of them taking back control of their life, and she's taking back control of her life in the most uh, literal sense, so I think, I think she'd cut her hair. The outfit I'm drawing her in now is probably what she'd be in for most of Security Breach. I imagine the outfit on the left is what she would wear at the beginning of the game and maybe in Help Wanted, but this is what she'd wear when she's around the Pizzaplex. She's, she snuck in and she's pretending to be uh, a worker there, uh, but the mask means that she's under the control of Afton, so he's controlling her. And when I say controlling her, I don't mean like it's Afton in Vanny's body. I don't think it would be like that sort of possession. I imagine that the way that he's taking control of her mind is just like him 
bringing to the front all of the worst parts of her. So she's still kind of in control, but not really. Like these are her, this is her doing these things, but not out of her own like free will. I don't know if that makes any sense. Honestly, I'm a big fan of the idea of Vanny getting a redemption arc like Vanessa did in the ending where, was that the ending where Gregory stole a truck? I don't know. I don't know if they're the same ending. Security Breach has so many stupid endings. They're all stupid, but I like the found family one. So I do really like the idea of Vanny getting a redemption arc. I know that a lot of people have redesigned Vanny and some of them have just kept her as just a villain. Uh, she'll stay a villain for the next few FNAF games, but I, I wanted her to be good. I wanted her to have a chance at a good life. I think she deserves it. I think that, I think, I think, I, she's special to me, okay? She's special to me. tell I really like Vanny. She's one of my favorite Five Nights at Freddy's characters. The rest are a secret for now, but I'm really happy with how her design came out. It's not supposed to be canon compliant or something that would necessarily fit in with the game. I just wanted to put a little bit of a spin on her character, maybe make her a little bit more interesting. I want to redesign and talk about more FNAF characters in the future, mostly characters from the books like Charlie. Um, I think that would be really interesting and I don't think that we have enough Charlie content out there, so I want to do something like that. This video was supposed to be a celebration of me hitting 10k and then I hit 15k and then I hit 20k and as I am editing this video I'm about to hit 26,000 subscribers. Words cannot express how thankful I am for all 25,900 of you and I am so thankful to call you all my lucky stars. That was the name for, I guess, my fans that somebody suggested in one of my comment sections and I really liked it because, you know, my name is Lucky and I like stars. So y'all are my little lucky stars and I love you all so much. I'm giving you each a little kiss, mwah. Anyways, I think that's going to be it for this video. Uh, leave any suggestions of Five Nights at Freddy's characters y'all want to see me redesign next. I have been Inkyo, and I will see you very soon.